Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays Roost 2, episode 11! Our second phase here with the diplomats and people seem to be a little bit upset about something. Um, actually, I'm a little bit upset about something too, um, but that's more my fault. I should have, I forgot to swap out the Agate and therefore we missed out on the second half of the fishing hut. That would have probably gotten me a bunch more food, which we needed because we were just a little bit short of buying our fifth city um, to qualify for it. So that's my bad. I also probably could have placed another tree biotica over here or something. Either way, it's not it's not going to be run breaking, but yeah. All right, just, let's go right here. A um, couple of different things. We are sticking with our animal focused thing here. Um, now we don't have enough domesticatable biotica. Actually, the the fact that we're missing the savanna, um, there's two of them there. We could have gotten that if we were using the savanna, but we're not. So we're just gonna go tavern, which is, and we're gonna have, we're gonna hit the six here. Cause that's exactly what a bunch of angry rioting people need is alcohol. Yeah, at least they seem happy about it for now. And also give us some food, um, so that will give us some currency. Basically, you get one of these currencies every time one of your cities level up. Now, spending this does not cause your cities to shrink, it's just how you earn it. Um, so, right then, let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's pick our other things just in case that influences our next few moves. Um, we do need to get a third city to 25 prosperity. You are already there. I mean, we might as well see what you're asking for. Uh, wood workshop. Eh. Uh, coral diver. We don't have enough coral biotica unlocked, and I'm not going with that. We're not going great garden. You're not ex that expansive. Um, probably wood workshop. And we're probably only going to get the lower end of that one. Uh, Nighthawk Village. Let's see what you got. Fishing Fleet? Well, yeah, we're capped at the bottom of that. Um, distinct Animals. Or Animals with a Base of Food. Distinct Animals with a Base of Food. So, yeah, what we could do here... Animals with a Base of Food... Um, the anchovy would give us another uh, distinct one. That would give us three. I mean, it's actually kind of rather weak otherwise. But if we do two anchovies, we'd get the extra, um, the extra thing. And that would be three of them. Then we would just need two food-giving animals, which we only have one at the moment. So maybe we do... Um, Distinct, you know, do another tavern. Because, I mean, they like both of those, too. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is we're just going to get two more things. We're going to get the anchovy, even though it kind of sucks, but we need to keep the herring. Well, it sucks by itself. I mean, it's kind of crappy without it, but you know what I mean. Because you guys are just shy of this, and I think if we get get you up a little bit further, we'll be in good shape. And besides, this doesn't cost us that much um, eon here. And then we'll get the suckerfish. All right, that triggered the first stage of this. Yeah, we just need two more distinct animals. I'm gonna place them before I forget to before I forget about them, and I think we're just gonna go rabbit stoat combo here. All right, that got the diplomat town settled.
All right, good. You're grabbing your last one. Now we can start working on the minor settlement. Yes, I do know that there's there's work to be done for for the forest. I've not forgotten about them. But what I want to do is... Oh, actually, we can get our next city here. Actually, before we place our next city, though, we need to do more expansions. Um, man, will you stop it with the dried coral? That stuff sucks. You could have had sashimi from if you waited for the tuna. But no, you did dried coral, which is worth it like one. Sashimi's worth three. Um, yeah, we're going to do another expansion charge here. And yeah, we're just going to balloon you out here because we need to make room for a fifth city. The reason why I'm making these extra cities is because the diplomat gains a benefit for every level of city request made. Um, the lower level ones are so quick and easy that the more cities there are that with lower level requests, the more we can milk that bonus. So with that built up, let's get the minor settlement going. We want them to claim this third thing and then we can have them loop over here. All right, two minerals within borders. We need to we need to draft something for them. The, the taiga. Um, now, unfortunately, the taiga is not really great for for these things. Uh, we are going to grab the copper, though. That's 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 metals and and whatnot. So I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a tin build where, um, yeah, we need two plants, and the two plants will be the fur. We need a little food here anyway, um, but the fur will work out anyway, uh, just as well. And then I think we can put a stone over there. Because we do need the two. Actually, before we do anything, let's start with those two. So we start with the stone over here. I know the planet's getting bigger, but still, put a put a you know get the lead out. All right, good. They're claiming a little bit more in the direction I want them to. We're gonna throw down our tin. That should get them to pass level one at the very least. Ooh, some food. All right, there we go. We did it. All right, now we need a little bit of wealth, two more things, and but we do get this, the toolsmith, which is going to be very useful with um, the copper. Just keep an eye on our thing. So yeah, we're gonna do our two plants here. Because we also need to build up our um, biodiversity. Um, yeah, I think we, I think you are going to be pure, um, pure taiga. So we'll do at least two stages on this side. Just want to see if we get spawned any, any, uh, boosters here, which we did not, but that's okay. Um... What else did we pick up from that one? We did get the copper, obviously. We we want to actually, you know what? Uh, the skunk would probably work out pretty well. Four patches away from the closest city. Yeah, it is. Although you're not food. Um, we need a food booster here, which we don't really have. Hmm, an Agate maybe? No, we can throw an Agate down here.
just to give them a little bit of nudge in the financial direction. I do want to get them something to... something there. Something food related that doesn't stink. But I don't want to go too... I don't want to go... Ooh, advanced tools. See, now that's a proper trade good. Advanced tools. Yeah, plus two. There we go. Good job. Thank you. Oh yeah, let's uh, name and game patron here. Let's see here. All right, for our Dana Black, Black Forest. I think he was the miner last time, too. But we're not going all um, evil mastermind here. Um, I mean, I could throw down another carrot. The problem is a food booster is going to lower our ruggedness in this biome, and that, that is counterproductive. I mean, the other thing we could do is put um, put the metal here and let the food booster give it the food bonus because it's going to be getting that. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do that. That's probably the most effective way to use the food booster. I mean, it's not a ton of food, but it's enough. It's enough. And there you go. Two levels for you. And you're claiming another bit of territory, which is fine. Uh, we are five away from buying our last city, so let's let's focus back in here because we're going to be we're going to be getting a lot of food for the diplomat here, and we do need to start working on this before we lose uh, lose track of time. Oh yeah, let's also get the miner town. Um, they're goody. Uh, weaponsmith for each metal. Well, the, being that that's also metal, uh, yeah, weaponsmith. Easy peasy. Leather pit boots? What? The heck are you... The heck are you making here, leather pit boots? Uh, vegetable soup from the carrots. You can do better than that. All right, so now one thing that we are going to be doing here is uh, a little bit of tech that we haven't done. So in our last run through, we, we uh, made great use of the creek to boost up to plant biomes. Today, we're gonna use another one and we're gonna have to buy it from the shop, but luckily it doesn't cost food cost money but we're good we are gonna build a mountain and this is going to be very important and it's gonna be right next to Jetstream Forest so let's go I do like me the mountain I think with a little bit of work we could get we could finish Huntress Town's uh, level uh, level three. Usually I I I stop uh, trying to level up their stuff and uh, once they once I do level one and two because those are super duper easy. Uh, but if we have some spare Eon at the end of this, uh, I will certainly go for it. Now what what to what end? Why why did we do this? Well, notice there are three new patches up here. And these two in the middle are now connected to more patches overall. This is going to be very important. Let's go digging. Let's go drafting for the forest, shall we? So there are a couple ones that we want. These are not the ones that we want. Also, uh, one so I would normally dive on Spectralite because we're going to be going crazy with animals, except that its big thing payoff is that it's mystery and mystery sucks for the diplomat. So reroll. Nope. Reroll. Oh, game. You're making me nervous. You're making me real nervous. Um, because I, there is one specific one that I need here. 
and uh, I'm I'm gonna take so this is one of the two the lychee tree is one of the two that we need we're going to grab it while we see it but that's not the primary one we want so let's go back to the draft let's go for another forest no you're giving me the you're giving me the three stars we don't need three stars yet it's another two star that's not the right two star oh thank goodness the gray wolf the gray wolf is is the star of our show here oh game don't do that to me i need i needed that gray wolf they are they are the the the, the linchpin to pretty much everything we're doing here so what we're going to do now these two pangolins here are pretty pretty well well off but we're they're going to be repurposed we need to upgrade and the other nice thing about the mountain is we get three level two slots with one upgrade and vaporizing them bakes their supreme stats into the uh into the ground here all right we got a we got a plant that's we're not going to be using a plant up here or are we we could yeah actually we kind of could uh, because we can also throw an upgrade down here so yeah you know what we're gonna use the plant over there so these two are going to get vaporized and upgraded food um well that's where the wolves go and they give money primarily but because they're an apex they're going to also get a food among other things so that's fine right now we before we play anything we need to build our our um, biomass back up our biodiversity rather um because the apex predator is um is is the is the gray wolf and they require a four but everything else works out nicely um we're gonna go this empty slot connects up to this one I believe yes it does yeah I think we're gonna put it something over here no no that's gonna be the tree though Actually, no. Either way, I no matter how I slice it, um, the wolf this this spot knee is needed by the wolf. So we're not going to be able to plant it. So in which case, I'm going to put the this over here. That's fine. All right. So let's start by like by putting these uh, out here. Uh, we'll start with a musk deer because that's going to give us a lot of um, biomass real quick. This is this is going to be animal haven right here. As soon as our crab gets over here. All right, that gave us enough for that. Now we can play our wolf. And they're going to go right here in the middle. Now, what's the why why the wolf? What's the obsession with the wolf? For each distinct adjacent herbivore bioticum gets 60. There is no limit to this one. Usually things are like, oh, if you're within, you know, one of two or two of two or three of two, like there's a limit to the number of things you can score. Not with the gray wolves. The gray wolves, the more distinct herbivores you give them, the better they get. Um, now, why, why, why am I so obsessed about this one wolf? Well, if we look at Jetstream Forest, so the, the unique building that we get from the Revolutionary is we get two food for each gold in the Predator Bioticum within borders with the highest gold. Guess whose gold we're going to be shooting through the roof? And guess whose bonus is going to be generating a crap ton of food? That's right. That's what we're, that is our gambit here. So let's start swapping in. We want every bit of critter we can get.
Um, the raccoon dog needs to go up here, actually, for very specific placement reasons. They want to be near um, vegetable soup. Oh, lovely. Um, and then for the one stars, we're going to be doing some swapping in here. So we're going to grab the red deer. And we're going to get the wabbit. And we're going to get the squirrel. And now we have enough for our last city, so let's let's get that built. Um well, let's let's buy them and see who they are first. The sage or the inventor, I'd say. Let's go the inventor. Uh, food's gonna be tough here, um, and I don't want to fight over um, bio uh, biomass. So let's call the inventor. So we're going to finish the rest of this off as Taiga. And actually, do we have enough to... Yes, we do. One more expansion charge to give us plenty of room. While it's still wilderness and we get the maximum amount of benefits from it. Alright, so you're one, two, three. We're going to give you one, two, three, one. And we should be able to get them their three technology before uh, committing to everything here. Oh, one other thing we do want here um, is these guys want to be next to a rock. These guys want to next be next to a, a uh, tree. Let's get them a, a rock here. Oh, well, we could do tin. I don't think, yeah, unfortunately that's not next to that tree. Um, if adjacent to a plant, you're not in a, yeah, I think we're just going to go mossy stone here. All right, we got our revolution completed, but we still have things to do. All right, now, the other thing, and this is the other thing that I drafted, um, is this, the lychee tree. All animals in this biome gain 15, which is insane, um, but I like a good insane. And no, I'm not putting it down here for a very specific reason. Because there's one more spot right here on the food booster next to the wolves. And you know who it is? It's our old friend, the pangolin, whom we vaporized, but now their cost is back down to a two. We're about to get a, we're about to spend five, but then get two from the lychee. Now we place our Van Golan, which is next to a plant, an animal, and a mineral. And now their food is going to get boosted. And now we're at Pack Hunter 7. Uh, the musk deer actually count as two times prey. So, yeah. Oh, but we're not done yet. Um, we've got... We've got five more placements. We can absolutely get the inventor um, doing his thing. And I'm pretty much done... Well, I'm not done drafting everything I need, but... Um, well, hmm. I would like another instance of copper, please. Uh, we do need the biomass for that. We already got that, uh, or biodiversity, I should say. Um, a squirrel would be an interesting choice. Uh, put that up next to a tree um, to get the extra. Yeah, I think that's the correct answer. So let us throw down a tree.
could give you a squirrel for the extra biodiversity. Because unfortunately we didn't get biodiversity from the tree itself. And now that gave us five, six. We need seven biodiversity to place a second copper. So we just need one more thing. Um, palace cat? I don't think we have gems, do we? We do have a gem. Oh, actually we can, well, that's gonna screw with the tins. Um, the tin's plant bonus. Oh, screw it. We'll, we'll fix it in post. Because <laughs> the, the, we already have a second fir tree, so we don't need this fir tree here. There we go. And plus, that get, brings our ruggedness up higher, because it's a predator. And now, with this mineral bonus slot, we can throw down another instance of copper, and it is a uh, apex, so it gets all of the diplomat bonuses. And because it's a mineral bonus, all parts of its benefits get, get increased. Are you stop it with the dried coral! Uh, toolsmith, obviously. That's the other reason I went the inventor. They've got super duper easy stuff. I got some food over here. Um, yeah, getting their tech up is not going to be difficult. We just need unique biotica. Yeah, they're already at the tech limit. Um, give them a stinky skunk. Because everything else is... I mean, we could go... Hmm, is there... All right. Actually, no, there's a few things I need to do before we, we finish our revolution here. Because we're, we're one placement away. Uh, so we need to start doing microbes because we want the gray wolf to pop off even further by increasing their gold because that's just going to in further inflate this. So let's take a look at our microbes, shall we? Uh, or rather, let's use our microbe charge, see what we can get. Um, Orchid Mantis can upgrade a plant. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. And that's all right. We didn't get lucky on that, but that's okay. Um, yeah, see the, the, the three star diplomat emblem for each completed level four request. We haven't done any level fours yet. Uh, so it's actually strictly worse. The level twos for each level threes are better, but I would have probably liked and not the krill, and yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I guess we'll go two star. Um. All right, uh, this fairy ring mushroom, this one can go on this plant. The other thing we're going to be doing is, since we're going to be vaporizing these again, we might as well... Well, the krill's not going to work, and neither is the poison dart. Um, upgrade a plant. Well, um, that's not really helpful. <coughs> oh, you have two microbe slots. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, then. Um... Then yeah, Orchid man Mantis, you got. I mean, we don't we, we don't benefit from the flower tag like the way we used to, in the in our previous one.
Um, before I end the era, I think I might buy a little bit of a couple more placements because I want to get the inventor village to pop off um, to the next level. I also think I will draft something in the taiga. See, see what we get from here. Larix or silver for each science in adjacent biotica. Yeah, silver is pretty good. But the Larix is, um, Larix is dirt cheap, uh, biomass wise. So let's go for that. Actually the, the Larix might even work better for the Huntress. Um, so I might just put plop some random stuff over here. We have the squirrel, we have the fur, we have the copper. Those are our three regulars so far. Yeah, I might not even bother with the larynx over here. Counts as lost. Well, I mean, so that should extend it. Not enough biodiversity. Oh, we need we need non-zero biodiversity. Oh, Pete, um, at least one undergrowth. You're not undergrowth. You're not undergrowth. Well, you know what? You're going to get that and you're going to get a carrot and you're going to like it. There we go. And now that gives all the apex, but... Uh, and also we get um, Weaponsmith. Yeah, let's unlock that. Just in time for the era shift. And actually that would have helped the um, our, our Grey Wolf here. So now that is giving us 1,042 extra food. Plus we're 100, 100 for the tavern. <laughs> As if we were, there was any doubt that we were gonna get that. All right, what, um, so in order to get this, we need four cities with 35. Who, who's, who who do we need to boost up? You are really close. Um, and what do you need? You need more trees. But I don't know if I have trees to give you. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could just spam them, but that's no fun. Yeah, we don't. We haven't unlocked anything fun for you. Um, I'm pretty sure Nighthawk Village. Oh, you're one away. You're maxed out on your tavern. Oh yeah, the the lyrics. Um, we put the lyrics in the super. Well, that's going to do away with the super booster, unfortunately. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's upgrade you over here. And we'll get the Larix right here. And you'll be next to two critters already. It gets it gets a big boost for every critter it's next to. But that'll be enough to get you uh, right over the 35. Which will get our world court uh, quest done. Which will further boost up the wolves and every other apex biotica out there.
Yeah, I didn't like that tree. Alright, trying to think if there's any other things that we can do. I mean, we can throw down our, our remaining stuff. Yeah, toxic papayas for you. Might as well use them up. This is our only patch of rainforest on the planet anyway. And then the krill will place... I mean, it just gives us eight anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll put you over here. You have you have good synergy with um, with mystery. All right. Any other tweaks? We we're not getting the the we're not getting the woodcutters one with them. We've already maxed out the the tavern with them. Um, actually, for this one, for Toolsmith, we want to put a microbe on the copper to increase its efficacy. Um, a level one diplomat emblem would probably work out quite nicely for it. We'll probably, we'll want to do the same thing for the Inventor Town one, too. Because that'll, that, that, it'll lock in this bonus here. And that's, yeah, <laughs> times five. And then that in, that further increases the metal smithing, or it should anyway. If not, I mean, it's still good to put down. Um, for each distinct plants within borders. Um, I mean, we have a few plants over here. For each distinct animals within borders, we can do... And then, yeah, we got the Diplomat Emblems. Uh, well, I mean, the a Animals Within Borders, um, we want to get Nighthawk Village up a little bit more so we can put the Animals Within Borders on the Larix. For here, for our other Copper, we've got just the Squirrel and that's it. That's not really worth the... Uh, and same goes with plants. So yeah, I mean we could we could pop another charge. Oh wait, no, no, no. Don't want to advance it prematurely. I mean we guess we could do, well it's ten percent food. That's not helpful. Food oh and that's just that's just plus and plus, so yeah. Uh, actually, the plus food for distinct animals within borders is going to go on the tuna. Because I al also want to get more Huntress uh, emblems by increasing their food. Now, granted, that doesn't help our, our thing, but I want to make sure I remember to place it. Also could have put that on my pangolins. Oh, uh, minor. Uh, for each distinct minerals within borders. Well, now we're talking. Uh, so one, the two. <laughs> not not the not the most diverse of the mineral on minerals, but I'll take what I can get. Um, we'll use our last placement to throw another mineral down here. We could do a we could do a stone. We need Eon to place. Okay, fair enough. Then we'll just place this thing. I mean, the 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 microbe will get better over time. And then we will close out this episode.
Yeah, we've got uh, we've done as much as we can for our uh, our friends here. So we shall continue. Now that equality has been reached, the evil tyrannical diplomat can be punished. And by punished, I mean killed. Because it's kind of hard for them to learn their lesson when you chop their head off. Um, and, and it's the... Oh, the sage! This is just messed up on a couple of different levels. Freaking... This freaking sage! Like, I'm more peaceful! Let me show you how peaceful I am! Off with her head! I'll show you peaceful! Right then. We have completed the revolution. Now, what's our final bit? Sludge Corp. This one is tough, but I think we can make it happen. And yeah, it's been founded in the Sage's city. Uh, you work so hard for that, Mr. Sage. All right, folks, in our next episode, we tackle the Sludge Corp. If you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.